All right, Cohort C, here it is. The moment you've been waiting for. We're going to see who survives this story. Remember how the story went. We're on board the starship Equinox, the science vessel that you are all a part of. We were sent to the planet Akali to help them with some watershed uh, exploration, collection of data, water quality, water quality, fish trapping, counting of fish, all that good stuff. When we beamed a landing party down, they forgot to tell us that they were in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. So we had to quarantine and stay away from infected people. Uh, but now it's time to head back to the landing spot so our ship can beam us back up. But here's the thing. We have to survive and go through zombie-infested lands. So we'll see who survives. Now, if you don't survive, you see here, scores of 5 to 13 get you a messy death. But in our game, you'll be infected. Maybe you got scratched or bit. Uh, but we can beam you aboard the starship and close you in a quarantined force field zone until we figure out how to get a vaccine. Here's what we do know. Because of the Carnival Disease Detectives assignment, we know where the virus started. I'll let you know that once everyone's done with it. Um, and we can find patient zero with their blood. We can probably figure out how to get uh, a vaccine. The good news is you have till the end of the week uh, to finish disease detectives and your disease report. So keep working. But without further ado, uh, let's see what we've got here. So Arissa has three food, three water, and it says here, purchasing of a backpack, uh, of a chainsaw, but the chainsaw costs, oh, 14 food and or water. So sorry, Arissa, you can't afford that. So I'm gonna take that out of there. Um, you have no items, but it's okay. You can still get uh, a zombie survivor or if you roll an amazing role you can still be a zombie hero even if you don't use anything but remember without a backpack you can only carry two items so even though Arissa has three food and three water uh, she can only carry one MRE one food ration and one water bottle they don't do anything to your dice roll so <laughs> it's all right all right Arissa Let's see how you do. Are you ready? Let's get set. Go. She got an 18. Look at that. Even with only one food and one water, you are a zombie survivor. Whew. One down. All right. So 18 gets you right here. Hooey. One down. All right, Drake. Drake earned um, six food, 13 water. Because remember, I switched food and water because you got to have more water than food. We can live way longer without food than with water. But he's got a chainsaw, and a chainsaw allows him to re-roll his three lowest dice if he doesn't make it. All right, so here we go. Drake, your roll is a 10. Holy moly, you got a one, a one, and a two. Okay, so you're going to re-roll those because with a ten, you would have suffered a messy death. You would have gotten infected. Okay, so he's got an... Wait, where's your initial score? You moved it. All right, let me fix that. So you got ten for your initial score. But you got a chainsaw. So he was attacked, but he used his chainsaw, had a water bottle probably tucked in his pocket so he could use both hands and let's see how you did all right so we're gonna keep the four and the two that's six so we're gonna add six to whatever you get here let's hope it's good ready set mm. a five. Oh my goodness five plus six is eleven oh, even with a chainsaw you were overwhelmed and didn't make it oh my goodness a messy death. So in class craft, uh, you will take some damage. So healers, you're going to have to heal Drake because he's going to need, we need a vaccine. All right. So we've got our first casualty. 
Oh man, isn't that amazing? He had more food and water than Arissa. He gets infected. She survives. All right, so Jack has six food rations and 11 water bottles. Can only carry two because you didn't spend any. Can't <laughs> zombie survivor. I erased that because we'll see. All right, so he gets no bonus to his roll. Even though you could have afforded to buy some stuff. And you got a 21? Oh my goodness, he called it right. 21 is your initial roll, and you didn't use any bonuses, so that's what you end up with. All right, so Jack survives. Next. Next we have Jackson with seven food, 13 water, but he didn't buy anything. Uh, so you can only carry one food ration, one water bottle, unless you want to carry two water bottles. It's up to you. So let's see how we're doing here. All right, Jackson got a 20. Another great roll and another survivor. All right, no bonuses, but you didn't need them. You survived, no damage. Okay, moving right along, Alexander has moved. He's now in a cohort A, so he gets to do it live. And we've got Zack. All right, Zack earned 12 food and 20 water. He could have bought almost uh, everything. You could have bought yourself a backpack and, and maybe a Bieber bomb and a zap grenade and a first aid kit. You could have had all that, but... You didn't spend it in time, so let's see if you are lucky enough to get a good roll without those items. 17! Oh, you made it! You needed 13 to survive, and you got 17. Whew! Could have added a lot more points to that. Could have gotten you to a zombie hero, but oh well. Next time, if there is a next time. All right, Zachary. Let's see. So, Oliver... Got three food rations, four water bottles. Let's see how you do. You should have bought a first aid kit. 20! Even without a first aid kit, you're still a zombie survivor. All right. Nope, 20. Here we go. All right, another classmate survives. Now we go to Trent. Trent, two food, three water. Didn't buy anything. Let's see how you do. 14! Made it by one. Oh my goodness. Talk about a close call. You just got away. You got into it with some zombies, but you ended up with no scratches. Your uniform held, and, and you didn't get infected. Whew! So far, we've only got one infected person. All right, Cadence, let's see how you do. You have three food, one water. Didn't buy anything. And let's see how you do. 16, another survivor. We've had some pretty good dice rolls uh, going on here. Everyone's been lucky. Started with 16 and, oh, yeah, I've been forgetting to do this. All right, another zombie survivor. All right, Izzy. It's your turn. You've got two food, one water. Let's see what you get. 19, another survivor. All right, way to go. The dice are rolling in your favor. All right, we've had some great rolls. All right, Xander. All right, Xander had six food, nine water, and he used it to buy a zap grenade and an advanced first aid kit. And he can carry those two items. That's all you need to carry. So let's see, the zap grenade lets you reroll one die, your lowest one, and the advanced first aid kit gives you a plus two. So he gets to reroll one die and he gets a plus two. All right, that's gonna do you well. So let's see how you get. Oh my goodness. He's got a 10. Okay. Thank goodness you had some stuff. So your initial roll was a 10. Let's see if you can survive this. All right, so we're gonna add two 
because you used your advanced first aid kit and you cleaned the scratch. But that only gets you to 12. You need 13. Oh, you need 14 to survive. All right, so we're going to re-roll the lowest one, which is a 1. All right, let's re-roll that one. Let's see what you get. You got 12. You need 2 to survive. You got a 5. So let's see. Let me do this math right. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Plus 5 is 14. Plus the 2 from the bandage is 16. Or from the first aid kit. You end up with a 16. You totally survived that. And you only survived because you spent your food and water. Whew, Xander. Very well done. I'm glad you were paying attention, watching my videos, and doing your work. All right, Gracie, it's your turn. Gracie has five food rations, seven water bottles. Didn't spend any of it. Yeah, so let's hope you get a good roll. Sixteen! Ooh, you made it. Okay, that's another one. Initial roll of sixteen. Final score, sixteen. You live to do another mission aboard the starship Equinox. All right, Deacon, let's see what you've got here. You've got nine food, 15 water, and you didn't spend any of it. Oh man, let's hope you get a good dice roll. 18, Whew, you made it, man. All right, 18 was your initial score. And your Final score. Whoo! Another zombie survivor. Wow. Okay, Evelyn. Evelyn switched to cohort A2, so she's gonna do this live. So, we'll get yours done in class. Alright, Rosie, it's your turn. You had nine food rations and 17 water bottles. You can only carry two. And let's see how you do since you didn't spend any of them. What a waste of food and water, leaving them all behind. You got a 20! Man. All right, we've had some good rolls, but nobody's a zombie hero. Will we get any zombie heroes today? This will be somebody who not only got through without any scratches or bites, but helped others. Uh, so far, no one, but we do have another zombie survivor making it to the landing site okay this is my test account mallory's turn all right mallory had nine food rations 13 water bottles didn't spend them so you have to leave most of them behind but let's see how you roll 17 mallory you survived whoo 17 17, another zombie survivor. All right, Olivia. Six food, rations, 13 water bottles. You also did not spend them. So you're counting on this dice roll as being good enough. Whew, I thought it was going to be a five. That would have been the worst one we've had. But you got 16, and that's enough to survive. Woo! Bonuses would have gotten you more points, but hey, you're a zombie survivor. All right, Titan. Let's see, so Titan has eight food rations, nine water bottles. Did not spend them, so he's counting on a high roll. 25! That's the highest one we've had so far, and oh, still not enough for a zombie survivor. But hey, the highest roll we've had, so you didn't need your other items, but you know what? Had you gotten anything else, you probably could have gotten zombie hero. Man, you would have been the only zombie hero so far. So, you know guys, next time we play a game like this, watch the videos. Keep up with your work, and when you have three days to spend your items on elite uh, 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 items, do it! 
before the deadline. I gave you till 2.30, people. All right, Charlie's next. Charlie got 10 food, 16 water, 26 rations, and she bought an advanced first aid kit and a backpack. So the backpack allows you to carry your advanced first aid kit and all your leftover food and water. So you wasted nothing. And with that advanced first aid kit, you get a plus two to your roll. So let's see what you get, Charlie. 22 plus 2 is 24. Man, if you would have gotten that 25, it would have been closer. So you started with 22, but with your advantage, you got to 24. Now, Charlie, had you bought a grenade or the Bieber bomb or the chainsaw, I would have re-rolled that 2 and that 3. I'm curious. Let's see what that would have done for you. You would have gotten a 7, so the 2 would have stayed a 2, where is it? The two would have stayed a two, but the three would have gone up by two points. And that would have gotten you 24, 25, 26. Ooh, okay. Wouldn't have been enough, but you would have been the highest scoring uh, player in this game. So, yeah, there's a lesson learned. All right. Arian is also in a hybrid, so we won't roll for you. And that brings us to our final roll of the day, Courtney, who didn't have anything to spend. So let's see how you roll, Courtney. Good luck. 19. Courtney, you survived the zombie apocalypse on the planet Akali. Whew. So that is fantastic. So folks, we only had one person take damage. The rest of you all survived. So we only have to take care of one person, which means healers. You're the medical officers aboard the starship. You're working with the Akalians, uh, synthesizing a vaccine that you can then give to our infected crew member so they can develop the antibodies and the antigens and send their macrophages to consume and fight off the virus, and they will not become zombies. Oh. All right, got to tell you, I hope you all enjoyed that. I did. Um, kind of fun. Uh, what a great way to turn schoolwork into a game. This is Mr. G signing off. Happy rest of your Veterans Day.